Yo, what's up, y'all? Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for coming by. Hold up, let me straighten up the joint a little bit. Uh, today, I'm just gonna do a couple sets. It's gonna be like a little basic routine. Nothing too crazy. This is for men over 50 years old. If you're over 50, you should not be ready to die. You should not be almost dying, right? Your health should still be money. You still should be in good shape. You should still be somewhat lean. I got some fat and stuff right here, but we're gonna get that off. 54 years old. I do all federal prison calisthenic style workouts. I don't lift no weights. Starting to rain a little bit, so I'm just gonna get a couple sets in for y'all just to show you something that I do. I train every day, seven days a week. This is my medication. I don't take no medication for nothing, no high blood pressure, no diabetes, no erectile dysfunction, none of that. I don't have none of those issues. I don't go to the doctor for checkups. I don't go to the hospital for nothing. I just take care of myself. Right now I'm on a three day smoothie fast. I haven't had no physical food in three days. So just doing all smoothies. All right, so we're just gonna do some basic, basic routine. Nothing too crazy. Let's get some chin ups. We're gonna get a 10, 10 reps. Let's go. One, two. That's 10. Get some push ups straight from the chin up bar. Come down to the push up bar. 10 to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, All right, that would be considered one set. All right, 10 chin-ups, 10 push-ups, 10 dips. That's 30 reps. That'll be one set. What I typically would do is I would do 10 sets. So that'll be 300 reps. Could also put some squats in there. Ten, that could be 40 reps. 10 sets would be 400 reps. I'm not gonna do squats because I just ran two miles up at Garrett Mountain, so, you know, I'm just not gonna do them. But that's normally would be my routine. All right, so we're gonna do the second set and you can make this routine easier by taking longer rests in between the sets, or you can make the routine more difficult and get a bigger pump by taking shorter rests. I'm just messing around, you know what I'm saying? Pull up grip, let's go. Ten. 
So that's two sets. Good morning, how you doing? I'm good. Right. So that's two sets. Uh, this is all I do. I do not go to the gym. I don't have a gym membership. You're never gonna see me in the gym. You're gonna only see me doing calisthenics. I don't take no supplements. I don't take no protein powder, no protein bars in the store, the protein cookies, anything that's advertised as like protein, protein. I don't do none of that. I don't take no creatine. I don't take no HGH. I'm not on TRT. I don't take steroids. I don't take no type of uh, none of that. You know what I'm talking about. Everything I do is all natural. I feel like if I can't get it with my mind, then something wrong with me. It's my fault. Back to the chin up. We went chin up, pull up. Let's go back to the chin up. Top of the third. So that's three sets right there. Um, prison style calisthenics is not easy. Calisthenics period. Because you're using your own body weight and you can't adjust your body weight. When you lifting weights, you can get on the flat bench and you can put you could do just the bar, 45 pounds, and you could rep that out. If you want, you could put on a 25 on each side, 95 pounds and rep that out. Or you could put on 245s and make it 225. So you can adjust the weight to fit where you at with weight, with calisthenics, whatever your body weight, that's what you got to pull up. You don't get to, uh, adjust anything you gotta pull your body weight up you know but like calisthenics once you lock it in it sticks with you and you you keep it it doesn't go anywhere you know what I'm saying top of the fourth let's go four sets that's four you got to ease into it you're not going to be able to do calisthenics i've been doing this for like eight years nine years i started in 2014 when i went to federal prison that's where i first saw niggas doing calisthenics 
like serious calisthenics. Just doing calisthenics as a full workout. I always thought you need to lift weights to get big. You need to lift weights to get a nice physique. I saw dudes in there just doing straight calisthenics and looked crazy. Looked better than the dudes that was doing the weights. Looked better. And then I started working out with some dudes and we incorporated weights. I lifted a lot of weights in prison. Stage saw, shoulder, elbow, wrist, chest, back. You know, stage saw because we worked out so crazily. But we always incorporated weights and calisthenics. Both together. But when I got out of prison, I kept doing, I kept lifting weights. But then I said, man, Sean, you, you know, cause when I go heavy on a weight day, you go in there, you do a, you do a hardcore chest day. You gotta take a day off. You gotta take a day off unless you taking supplements to recuperate your body, especially when you get my age. Top of the fifth, right? Which way do we go? Go this way. I think that's five, right? You that five? I think that's five. So I just dropped the weights and I said, I'm just only going to do calisthenics. And it works for me. You know, it works for me. I got a nice body. I'm not on no type of medication. And see, the one thing about calisthenics is that. A calisthenics dude can leave the calisthenics park and go into the gym and hold his own and compete against dudes that work out with weights, that lift weights. But that dude that only lift weights in the gym, he can't come into the calisthenics park and compete on no kind of level. He can't hold his own. Two different things. Tire flat. So, I prefer calisthenics. This is my pre-workout. I'm drinking a cup of coffee. Top six. Let's go. Ten piece. Get that back right there, get them lats. See them lats? See them lats?
That's six. Six. Might as well do ten. Shit, I'm here. Might as well do ten. Also, in prison was where I learned the importance of reps. The way I was trained growing up, the way I was taught to work out, which was all the way wrong, you do three sets of 10 of bench, three sets of 10 on the incline, three sets of 10 on squats, three sets of 10 on leg press, three sets of 10 on incline. That's why I never got no gains. That's why I never got no gains. I wasn't doing enough reps. In prison, we would bench. We would do a chest day on Saturday. We would do like 13 sets of bench. 13 sets. Get off the flat bench, go to the incline, six more sets of incline. Get off the incline, go to the dip bar, four or five more sets of dips. The amount of reps was crazy. The amount of reps was crazy. And then when it came to calisthenics, you know, push-ups, like the push-ups reps, 300 to 500 push-ups was like, you know, average. Nobody was doing 100 push-ups a day. Was doing 250 to 500 push-ups a day, sometimes more. crazy amount of reps. That's why, that's why they look the way they look. And they be on low grade food, low grade prison food. That's the difference. That's the difference. The reps, the reps are the difference. It's the reps. It's the reps, all day it's the reps. You doing, even when we did push-ups in the joint, it's 10 sets of 25 or 10 sets of 30 push-ups. Always 10 sets. The sets and the reps, that's going to build muscle endurance, muscle stamina. It's going to build, it's going to build mental endurance, mental stamina, and it's going to build muscle and cut. Calisthenics going to get you cut up. Calisthenics going to get you cut up. Top of the eighth.
ASAS in the back. Two more. I ran the hundred stairs yesterday. My shit a little sore under there. It's gonna take you a while. It's gonna take you a while to master calisthenics to where you could get to this level of routine. 10 sets of 10 on everything. It's gonna take you a while. It's gonna take you months. It's gonna take you months. So don't think you're just gonna come out here and you're gonna be able to do what I'm doing. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. But you just gotta stick with it and keep going. When I first started, I was benching 335 pounds on the flat bench. That was my max. I was hitting 315 for two on the flat bench. I couldn't do seven pull-ups. I could only do six. I was super strong, but this is a whole another thing. Top of the knife, right? Top of the knife. So don't get discouraged. Don't think you're just gonna come out here and get this right away. That's nine. That's nine. That's nine. How I started was I was in feds, I was in the feds, federal prison, and it was so competitive. The most competitive place I've ever been in my life. This could everybody compete with everything. Everybody's always bragging, everybody's always competing. It's all super competitive. So, you know, I saw dudes doing pull-ups. They would do a full workout with weights. Deadlift, boom, doom, crazy weight. Back, roll, boom, boom, bench. Full weight workout for an hour. Finish that and hit the pull-up bar and do 10 sets. And I said, yo, I gotta be able to do that. I gotta get my push, my pull-up game up. My push-up game and my dip game was always money. But my pull-up game was the weakest. And the first, the best I could do when I first started was 10 sets of sixes. All I could give you was 10 sets of sixes. And then I worked myself up. I did 10 sets of sixes. I went every day to the weight pile, every day to the weight pit and did 10 sets of sixes. Then I did that for like, then I would take like a day off, two days off, let my joint heal. And then like two weeks later, I bumped it up to sevens, 10 sets of sevens. Did that for like a week or two. Took a day or two off, 10 sets of eight. And then I built myself up to where I could do 10 sets of tens. And once I built myself up, this is in 2015, I ain't never not been able to do it since. Cause a lot of it is mental. A lot of it is mental. If 
Bottom of the 10th, last set. Let's go. All right, y'all. That's 10 sets. That's a full federal prison calisthenics workout routine. You can do this by, by itself. You don't got to do nothing else. And you've got yourself a good workout in. That's 30 reps per set times 10 sets. 300 reps. You see the cuts. You understand? And, uh, this is what it is. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on my Instagram, at Sean G. Gumby Publishing, you'll see it. Uh, Facebook, Sean Gumby, what else? And follow my son's channel, Little Sean, on YouTube. All right, appreciate y'all. Join the channel for the channel membership. Appreciate you. Peace.